What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. And today we kind of got a problem. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. I can't seem to get them open. Well, that's because they're perma-sealed. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to open some perma-seal. And I can even show you the little puppy since you guys haven't met him yet. So this is Stark. He's a black lab mixed with a greyhound. That's what we were told. That's the puppy. But enough for the little guy. Let's show you guys how to open some perma-sealed headlights. So with butyl headlights, you can just pop them in the oven for like 15 minutes and they're open, right? You crack them open, safe, super easy, super simple to do. But with these perma-sealed ones, these require like two to three cycles in the oven. And sometimes they don't even come apart and it just makes it super hard and super difficult to get apart. So I'm gonna be showing you another way to open them but you're gonna need some tools. You're gonna need some tools first. So these are the only tools you're gonna be needed. You got your blade, you got your flathead, you got your, you know, your Dremel attachment. And you're gonna need a Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel, I suggest you buy one. This was only like $20. You got six or seven different speeds. Yeah, so you got six and then max. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. As long as you maintain it, that's good stuff. So these and this, you're gonna need this to close them too. So these are all the tools you're gonna need and let's get started. Our Dremel bit is attached. So now all we need are the headlights. All right, so before we begin cutting, we gotta figure out like where do we wanna cut? Usually when I cut these things open, I cut along the further, like as far away from the lens as possible. So I usually follow this outline, but give it a little space. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not being seen while it's on the car. But neatness does matter, you know? So I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna get to cutting this away. But before I do any cutting, I need to make sure that my beautiful champion hoodie doesn't get ruined. So I'm gonna change this out. So we got the Fresh USA t-shirt on. So now we can get to cutting. So here we are about to start cutting. Safety first. Ah. Cool. So, ah, let's get to cutting. All right, so now that we got this cut along the edges, we're gonna take our flathead and we're just gonna slowly pry the lens from the plastic, but you can't do it too hard. You can't do this stuff too hard or else you're gonna crack the lens and then it's just gonna be a problem. Then you're gonna have to buy a new set of headlights. Then you're gonna have to waste money. It's just a whole big thing that can be avoided with simply taking things slow, that's it. I kind of forgot there's a nut back here that needs to come out. So I'm gonna get this nut out and then the lens can come off. All right, so now with that screw removed, the lens can just come right out. So that's pretty much how you, that's how you get him open without having to deal with the 30 hour like process of opening Permaseal headlights. So with this set, this is actually all getting removed and painted. That way, once they're done, they can get closed up like this. And then this can be used to close them back together. Now that you got all of this off, you can just take your screwdriver and unscrew all the plastic trim in there. That way, if you wanna add your LED strips, you can add your LED strips. If you wanna do your amber delete, you can do your amber delete. So now with all the screws out, you can pretty much go ahead and remove your turn signal, place that to the side, and then you can remove your housing. But when you cut these open, you can see that the housing is pretty much like seamed shut. 
So to get that out, you pretty much take your flathead again and then you just, you gently pry it. And if you break it, then like, you just gotta buy a new set. So pay attention. Just gently put it in there. That's what she said. Gently put it in there and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Do that gently and then everything would be good. Slow and steady, guys. There's no need to rush when building headlights because the more you rush, the worse things get and then the worse the result will be. And boom, that's it. That's it. That's how you get the plastic trimming off That's how you get the plastic trimming off of the housing. Guys, I think we have a special guest. I think we have a special guest here. Who is this? Who's man's with the 370? This car is super loud. Let's see. Super extra. You're not low at all. I see you, boy. But we're about to head down there and uh, he said he had a code on his car, so we're gonna see what that's about. What are you doing? Right, meathead? Can I help you? What are you doing, boy? I'm in my car. Alright, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Some nice girth there. Oh, these are warm. Yeah, I should wrap okay. it, right? Yeah, in gold. No, yeah. Wrap that shit in gold. That shit will be fire. See, if it wasn't if it wasn't cold, we can uh, clean that up. It's impossible. All right. All right. Somehow we ended up in the car with Ali behind us, and we're gonna do some uh, some skids. We're gonna do some skids. He says I can't drift around his car. I know for a fact I can. So. So I'm gonna I'm show him. I'm gonna show him what's up. So Ali's about to do some. Ali's about to do some skids, and we gonna we gonna see. Let's see it. Diff wasn't really uh, letting him do much. Well, there it is. It's going. And honestly, I'm not even upset. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I'm really not even upset. 